the bucket now. Being a Native American community, art is very important. It's very cultural. I mean, that's just so much of who you are. The Halawasa Pony are made up of remnants of known tribes that were in this area that we call the Meadows. And um, Halawa comes from Halifax and Warren County. This is where my tribe and my ancestors and relatives are from. And it's important to get people to realize that we're still here and we didn't disappear throughout time. Well, I hope this artwork that we're putting out here will be able to put us on the map to the general public. Uh, we talk about it all the time how there can be people that stay in the next towns over that don't know that we're here. The things that are depicted in each mural, this one at the library or the multi-purpose building, is centered around healing. And then the other mural at the old council house, it'll be depictions of us since it's telling our story, where we come from, and wanting to own our identity and have people acknowledge that this is our identity. For me, the mural represents power. The Public Arts Initiative is a way to help bring about an understanding about who we are as a people. The old cliche, of course, is that you don't know where you're going unless you know where you come from. And we will not survive as the Native peoples without knowing who we are and where we come from, without knowing the struggle that our elders dealt with over the years in order for us to have an organized tribal government, in order for us to be able to dance and sing in our ceremonies, in order for us to have kinship and peoplehood with each other. These are all integral for us to be who we are as Yesan, as Halawasaponi Native peoples. Most people don't know us, and we have an important story that people want to hear. We as a people are proud of our history, our ancestors, and what they've done. So any opportunity that we have to tell the rich story of our people is very important to us. The goal of the mural project and also the Hollow West Pony Historic Legacy Project is to educate our young people and to bring our elders and, and adults together with our young people to pass on the knowledge about our history, about our culture to the next generation. We wanted people to feel like, you know, they could walk in and out of this building and be a leader within the community. We really just wanted to tell, really tell our story through this artwork, how we came to be here, what we've gone through, and the many triumphs and tragedies that we've experienced. I think that people need to know that our community is very strong in its heritage and in its culture and that we're very proud in ourselves. And we just hope that uh, the artwork will you know, be able to shed light on it and be able to expose it more to the general public. Well, the way I see it, art plays a very important role in that it gives us a great opportunity to tell our story again to the world the goal was to give us some form of identification in the community. Quite often people ride through this community and unless they see the tribal government building, they don't realize they're in Indian Territory. Most people don't realize that we're still here. Most people look at us as uh, museum artifacts or existing only in museums and history. And then quite often the history is wrong. So Z. Smith Reynolds enables us to tell the story from our point of view. We have uh, the circle of life in here and just representing just the generations of our people. Um. So we initially found the Z. Smith Reynolds grant because we were kind of looking for something we could go after that complemented our historic legacy project and it lined right up. It was telling our own story, and that's what we work with every day. We're trying to put together all the pieces so that the story can be complete. The murals and the wood sculptures that are being done are very important to this community. 
We have had people come in and participate in discussion of what we would have on the mural. And the community as a whole decided what they wanted to see. The community engagement sessions, we basically had what we call talking circles. We talk about our history, we talk about our culture, and collaborating with artists who can display our history and culture. The goal for me at first was really personal just because I wanted people to talk about things that I know for a fact aren't really talked about. People like to beat around the bush when it comes to the topic of uh, race or discrimination or the feeling of being isolated. After we had these conversations, we spoke about how we could have a piece of artwork that represents what we talked about or how to portray what came out of those discussions. We went with the idea of telling our story of our community and basing it on our native roots here. I think art has always been strong in this community and I think it's getting stronger. For the community it is empowering. It shows that the past is still here. The culture itself brings attention to people. With our artists, in many ways, they are helping to put us on the map and to receive recognition that otherwise we, we wouldn't get. Karen and her husband, they are extremely well recognized and they're able to showcase their work to show just what our tribal members are capable of doing. The pose represents the people, what the people look like, the spiritual aspect of the people, and how they represent the area. The Hollowasa Pony was made up of several tribes, and they represent all those tribes in different ways. The mural that we will be doing by the old council house. That mural will depict a native person in a canoe going down the river, the Renoke River, and telling the story of the tribe. As he goes down the river, he'll see things that represent us here. And looking at our records, looking at the history, over time we've had to uh, stand up for ourselves to be recognized as Native peoples, as Indian peoples. So this project is a way for us to visualize, to see our history on canvas, and then to ask questions. How did our tribe reorganize itself? How has our people survived? Why is that important? I believe that it's a way for our young people and others that are interested, both Native and non-Native peoples, to create a dialogue, to learn from the elders, and to go to our elders to realize that we do have a strong history. We are survivors. We are the ultimate American survivors. Again, I want you guys to remember when you're at a gathering, whether it's a powwow or some type of native celebration, if you're in regalia, what are you? A target. It means that they're gonna come to you and they're gonna ask questions about why do you do this? Why are you wearing this? Why do you dance in a circle? You know, why is your hair braided that way? They wanna know everything. So be able to, don't let someone define you by, you know, someone walking up to you saying, oh, you're dressed in costume. When they use that, that's your responsibility to correct it and tell them the appropriate word. I want them to be educated. Okay? And remember what I always say, I want y'all to know all the things that I know, and even more, okay? The feeling that we wanted people to have when they saw all these murals was healing, and um, that this would be a place of healing. We have our youth programs here, we have tribal meetings here, so we're constantly discussing and trying to better the future for our tribe. The sculptures that are going along with both murals, actually, 
are considered spirit poles. And the whole group actually thought it was fitting that they be represented by women because that's who historically have worked inside of this building. It's been our women who have kind of carried the culture on, who have uh, picked up the baton and you know, kept teaching our youth. It's been largely our women who have facilitated things for the youth and that always make it a point to reach out to the youth. And I kind of just thought it was really fitting to the fact that you know, it's flowers and it's nature and kind of represents that Mother Earth that we always talk about. It's always important to pass your stories down to your next generation. By knowing your culture, you understand why uh, your parents are the way they are, your grandparents are the way they are, why you still do some of the things that you do. It's important to Native people to remember where they came from because it's important to have a connection in this community. As I look at the mural, I recall the night that we were here in our tribal meeting and we shared the vision with our tribal citizens, how uh, elated and excited they were to tell our stories, uh, the stories about our tribe. And to think of what we have painted now on the front of this building, we can say to everyone that if you have a story to tell, there are agencies out there. They are willing to help you. We're the only people who know our story. And we need to be able to go tell the story ourselves and not wait for other people to tell it because no one can tell it the way we can. It's a source of pride that we were able to start something from just talking to materializing itself in the form of art. It provides a landmark. This, this is the land of the Halawasaponi people and we're known for our artwork. People are depending on us to do great things in the community. And art is one of the things that people come to see. It'll be a constant reminder about this community and about this place that we call home. And for us to receive this grant, uh, it really meant a lot because our art is furthering our culture by letting people know that we're still here and that we still have a claim to something, that we still exist. To see that our story was something that they thought was worth telling was uh, pretty great. I hope anyone that sees these murals, these sculpture pieces, will leave with a better understanding of our community and our people. And hopefully they will, when someone says Halawasaponi to them, they will be able to say, I know who those people are and I know what they went through. Visibly Speaking is a production of PBS North Carolina in association with the Z. Smith Reynolds Foundation.